The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Oh, look who oh, we have. It's a beautiful day. Look at our man, Jim from Minneapolis. We are taken by storm. Taking it by storm, baby. <laughs> I love that. That's a great saying, man. <laughs> hey, what's happening, brother? Good morning, gentlemen. How you guys doing today? Good, man. Yourself? Oh, man. It's been the most incredible couple of days since when I called in on Friday. Litecoin busted out of that consolidation on the two-hour chart. Okay. And it just never looked back. It did a 100-point ABC up, and now it's very extended the way I look at it. But yeah. holy commo I mean, it went up to $420 last night. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Ask for what you want. This is a great card. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes or no, but you always have the right to ask. Likewise, everyone has the right to ask you for what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials down 134, NASDAQ up 16, S&P's down 3.5, gold contract 1279 flat for the day, 1490 on silver also flat, Light Sweet Crude down 90 cents, trading $64.99 a barrel. That Light Sweet Crude market, folks, uh, uh, bottom line, doesn't want to move off the 65 area. Notes and bonds, 10-year uh, note down four ticks, 123.12. 30-year bond off five at 147.06. And King Dollar, King Dollar up 50 ticks, 97.905. The euro is trading at 111 to 1 U.S. dollar. The yen is at 1. 11 also, and the pound is at 121 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. Now, in the world of these markets, we get action out here. Let's start with Amazon. Amazon come out with numbers. Amazon closed at 1902. That is trading right now at 1905. Now, check this out. This is pretty amazing with Amazon. Uh, Amazon was as high as, uh, I believe, 1960 as soon as it came out, hitting 1905 right now. Numbers uh, go like this inside Amazon. Big numbers, man. Earnings per share, the estimate had been $4.67. They took in $7.09 to the bottom line, folks. They're expecting $4.67. They did $7.09. Uh, they, uh, they see second quarter net sales coming in. The estimate had been $62.37 billion, and this is where I suspect this is backing down a little, is that that is a lower number they're expecting now. They're expecting $59.5 billion to $63 billion. Uh, so that uh, definitely is a lower number. Uh, their AWS, uh, which is the clouds, uh, that baby, uh, big numbers. Uh, they were expected 7.67 billion. They did 7.70 billion. Uh, billion. So uh, no doubt they have big numbers uh, inside that. I expect this, this will stay volatile uh, throughout the next hour. 1902, that's where it closed. Right now, it's trading at 1908. As I said a little bit earlier, it had been as high as um, 1960. Starbucks, SBUX. Let's go take a look at uh, Starbucks out here. Starbucks closed today at uh, $77.11. That is trading right now at $79.00. And let's see what Starbucks has to say. They're, they're going to be looking for that uh, growth uh, over in Asia, uh, what you have with Starbucks. The same sale comp sales were, they were looking for 3.1%. They got three. Not bad. Um, let's pull that down. Okay, so earnings per share, they were looking for 56 cents. They got 60. So bottom line, uh, they hit those numbers, and uh, that baby's trading up uh, $2. If we go take a look at Intel... What you're going to see with Intel out here, Intel closed today at $57.61. 
That is trading at 53.50. Let's see what they have to say. Intel. Numbers in Intel go like this. The estimate had been 87 cents. They made 89. Revenue estimate 16.03 billion, 16.1. So they come in light on the um, revenue, and what you have out here is that they took this, uh, no doubt, for a spin uh, downtown. Uh, $53.43, not the end of the world. Uh, we'll see what kind of volume we got uh, in that baby, though. We closed at 57. Uh, that's going to that's gonna try to get back inside the lower range. That's how this uh, seems to be setting up right now. That's, that's how it looks like it wants to get uh, inside that lower range. We go over, we take a look at... Uh, Cypress Semiconductor, that closed at $16.18. Right now, that is trading out at $17. And numbers on Cypress Semiconductor, the earnings per share number, they expected $0.24, cents, they made $0.27. Revenue, expected $535 million, they made $539. So uh, decent numbers, uh, no, no doubt, uh, inside of that. We go take a look at... Um, Mattel, Mattel closed at twelve dollars and twenty-eight cents. That is trading right now at thirteen sixty-eight. So they get some good news somewhere in here. Let's see what they have to say. Uh, Mattel, the uh, they expected a loss of um, fifty-eight cents. They came in with a loss of forty-four. So that helped them out. Revenue, uh, they expected six hundred and forty-eight million. They came in with six eighty-nine. So uh, bottom line is that they uh, do have something going. Uh, right now uh, into the top side. We just uh, let's go take a quick look at Amazon once again. That closed at 19.02. That's trading at 19.06. King Dollar. What do we have with King Dollar? Well, here's the an anomaly, folks. That you have King Dollar running top side, as well as bonds, as well as the metal markets. Okay. And bottom line, something's going to give out here. Uh, what we did have out here with King Dollar, this broke out of a long consolidation. Now, you're only 200 ticks above it, but guess what? It'll only take one more day to get away from that consolidation, and that'll be saying King Dollar wants to go up to 103, which is pretty amazing, because the gold contract is not saying that it wants to go downtown. You know, that's, this is the anomaly that we're looking at in, inside the market right now. And uh, it's like, okay, which way, which, what's going to give? Bonds, same type of setup. You know, the, the bond market, you know, we're laying out here at 2.5. That's And bonds also look like they want higher price. And, of course, where the divergence comes in is that you just don't see dollar at higher price with commodities. At, well, we haven't even brought the oil market in. You bring the oil market in. You know, so we'll see where this whole thing shakes out. I wish I had an answer for it, um, but there's not an answer for it right now. That's, that's what it really comes down to, which, you know, I've seen the dollar go higher on a shorter term basis for one or two days. This is, this is definitely a different deal when you broke topside and those other markets did not break down. That's, that's the divergence, that's the anomaly in the marketplace uh, right now. You know, so is there that much cash that they're using the rest of the cash that's out there to buy everything else up? <laughs> we'll find out, but uh, not qu quite sure how this uh, is gonna basically shake out. Dow Industrials, uh, Dow, and actually, uh, NQ, let me just see this, NQ, I'm curious of what those NASDAQ futures did, because we had lots of movement, oh, look at that, so, yeah, the NASDAQ futures, we went from uh, a 78.50 uh, to uh, 77.98, stay right there, folks, come right back.